Welcome boys and girls to yet another video. I only do life detailed, I don't do life generalized. So any topic, as I've said in other videos, can bleed into endless complexities. Here we are, we're gonna talk about black trim restoration. So to clarify, there's a difference between maintaining black trim and restoring black trim. You'll notice that I have four products behind me. We have, let's go from my right to left in reverse order of how the English language yeah. actually works. Chemical Guys, Tire and Trim Gel, Solution Finish, Brings Black Back, Meguiar's Supreme Shine, CSI, New Tire Lotion. What I wanna highlight is this plastic trim, many cars have it, Hummers, Jeeps, there's a few cars out there that are notorious for having excessive amounts of black trim. This is one of them. The simple answer is that, like this, we are restoring the black trim. This Hummer is an 05. That makes it a few years old. To this moment, that would make it, what, 14 years old? Because yeah. this is 2019. So this Hummer that we're working on, we got a little bit of wind, so let's just let's take these. We've already they, introduced them. They already saw them, yeah. Yeah, we've already in introduced Can them. Can you take them all down? can set them here. To clarify, you have black trim restoration, black trim re maintenance. There's two different animals. This one, I don't know if it's showing up, it would come under the heading of black trim restoration. It is degraded, it is faded. What you need to understand about black trim, it's a mass produced product. It is filled with lots of impurities and additives. Thank you, Chris West. Mm. Chris West, which is the founder and formulator of Solution Finish, one of my favorite products, and specifically my favorite product for restoration, he is educated to me. And what's cool is that I can go directly to the source and get this intel, intelligence information that a lot of you don't have access to. I have more access in moments than maybe a lot of you guys so this needs to be restored. The simple rule is this, you clean it first, then you apply whatever choice that you've chosen to restore the product. Just know like everything else, they're not all created equal. Because we're dealing with restoration here, we want to pre-clean this so that we can remove the oxidation from it. We have to accept that in this industry, when it says restoration, we're dealing we might be dealing with a superior product like this, but we're putting this on an inferior material, a material that is filled with additives and impurities. For example, if you go into the aerospace world or the gun world, they use polymers, plastics, call it whatever you want, that are never going to fade and degrade like this stuff will. You know why? Because it's not filled with additives and impurities, but this mass produced stuff is. So regardless of the superior product that you're putting on it, it's gonna constantly leach out those impurities and additives moving forward. So you have different levels. You have what I call a glorified Band-Aid, and uh, there's a product, starts with A and ends with Merol, mm. I don't know if I said that oh, right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Without calling it by name, mm. that the world is used to. That is what I call a glorified Band-Aid. It might last one or two washings at best. Then you have a true quality maintenance product, which is what I would call the new tire lotion. Now this is a unique formulation, and I know every company says that they're unique. Occasionally you actually find a company that's unique. So once again, because I know the founder and formulator of this, I've been able to verify firsthand the ingredients that are actually in it, never mind testing in the real world to see that it really can perform. So then you have a product like this, Chemical Guys Tire and Trim Gel. I have no experience with this. The only reason I'm introducing it is because when you purchased this, Sean, mm -hmm. you were given a warning, yeah. which was what? Well, I got two warnings. Okay. One was not to use it on paint, 
And two was only use it when you clean the area as best as possible. Okay. And then you put it on because if you put it on on a dirty area, it's going to look terrible. Which hopefully in most people's world, that second point would just yeah. be common sense. Yeah. It's like, yeah, why would I want to put, it'd be, to me, it'd be like going out and sweating and getting all gross all day and putting body lotion on your dirty skin. Yeah. It's like, who, who does that? Right. Probably no one. So why would you put a product, good, bad, or indifferent on a dirty material? You wouldn't. Right. So because I'm a fan, do you have your simple green? We're going to simply, oh, there it is in my <laughs> pocket. I'm gonna take this cloth and you'll notice that I have taped this area off. And this is where you have trade-offs. So the products that I would use on this for trim restoration or quality trim maintenance, I know are not going to damage this paint. But I also know that I may not want to clean any of those products off of the paint. So do I take the time to tape it off and do what I call, let's say, uh, work mitigation. I'm trying to avoid additional work. Mm -hmm. But there's work that goes into taping this off, which is the better ROI. I don't know, only you can decide that. In this moment, we decide to tape it off. So I'm using a basic microfiber cloth and I'm rubbing aggressively. I'm working in the direct sun, so that means I have to manage this liquid so it does not flash dry on the material while I'm cleaning it. Because this louvered, it's, and it's really, these louvers are purely for aesthetics. They don't actually uh, diffuse uh, any true heat or anything. As far as I can tell, it's purely aesthetics. Point being, in this moment, it doesn't really matter whether it's a functional louver system or it's purely for visual enhancement. We just want to clean it and make it look better. So cleaning it can be that simple, no pun intended, since I am using Simple Green. So to clarify, I was not the one that was sold this product. I've never used it and I skimmed over the instructions. The real point is, is that when you bought it, the person behind the counter yeah. told you, right. don't get it on paint. Yeah. Okay, if I know that I'm gonna use a restorative mm -hmm. um, trim dressing, trim restoration product, and I have to worry about it damaging the paint, right. and I know there's other options that don't damage paint, right. guess which one I'm going to just default to automatically. Right this, these, sure. exactly. Now, whether that's really true or not, because if it's not true, then they need to educate the, the guy selling the stuff better. Yeah. And if it is true, then I'm never gonna use it. Someone out there I'm sure will let us know. Of course. So, if I wanted to restore this at a more permanent level, I would pick Solution Finish. My go-to for permanent, as far as permanent can go, when it comes to an inferior product, as in this plastic, that I know will continue to degrade as time moves forward. Mm -hmm. Sean? Yeah. But in the interim, for something that's super simple, because this is the product that I use on my tires, because it dries to the touch, it's true waterborne technology, it's nano emulsified, which are very big, dramatized, sophisticated words that actually do mean something and I will explain in future videos. I'm just not gonna explain it now. Just know that I have the ability to verify it. So this, because I'm already using it on my tires and I'm gonna maintain this, I'm gonna default to this because it's simpler and easier to use, but I accept that even this has its limitations compared to that. Mm -hmm. Just as I accept that has limitations compared to whatever. Right. Everything has its limitations. So, so new tire lotion, truly dries to the touch, waterborne technology. Uh, I like waterborne technology because as a rule, <laughs> I want to be able to remove the product when I choose to versus the heavily solvent-based, heavily oil-based products that are very difficult to remove. So that's why I like a water-based product. Turtleback sponge, I love this. It comes as a one sponge. I cut it in half, therefore I actually get two for the price of one. It's got the sharp edge to it. 
I introduced this probably, I don't know, five, I'm guessing by the way, someone out there can verify, all I have to do is go to my channel and find out. Um, so you have a sharp edge, you've got a thick edge, it's very ergonomically friendly in the hand. Did I flex? <laughs> Should I flex? <laughs> Anyhow. So, and you can use it in direct sunlight. So what's cool about this product is that it will actually enhance the trim. And one of the rules that you always have to remember is you shake your products very well before you use them. That's the simple rule. So this product is not meant to be an overly oily, greasy, I need to put sunglasses on in order to look at my finished work. This is meant to create, based on the material you're using it on, whether it's rubber, in this case plastic or vinyl, call it whatever you want. Um, this is where you get into chemistry and how products are truly made. So this creates a just a new appearance to it. It's not going to create a heavy, greasy shine to it. So I'm going to apply it. One of my other rules is too, is that even though you can use this in direct sunlight, because it's hot, chemicals will respond or react differently to cool shaded surfaces. The simple rule is that you will always have an easier time in most cases, using any product on any surface on a cool shaded surface. But as mobile detailers, we don't always have that luxury. So we have to sometimes finesse things. So here I am, I'm, I'm interpreting the feedback that I'm getting as I'm using this product. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this cloth and I'm going to finesse the moment in so that I can create a uniform appearance. But because it's direct sunlight, and this is, for example, hold that for me, this is a virgin sponge that has been pre-wetted, mm. moistened. So now I know that when I spray this on here, it's going to automatically become diluted to a degree. So this is where I may need to come in with a second coat to finesse, and virtually you're gonna have this a problem with any material of your choosing because it is in direct sunlight. So this is where I just finesse and decide what look I'm going for. I can allow it to dry and this can actually take repeated coatings. Um, think of this because it's water-based, waterborne technology. Think of it like latex paint. So latex paint while before it dries, it's still water soluble. Once it dries, you can get it wet and it's not going to break down with water very easily. So that's kind of one of the cool things about uh, waterborne technology and this product in particular is that you literally can layer it. And so I will just sit here and I'll finesse it based on the desired result. Now if it's hot enough, let me see that cloth. If it's hot enough, which it probably is today, because I'm really, really sweaty. It's pretty hot. It's like no, you, you may like, have to do something like this. <laughs> and I'm not above that. Meaning, I'm gonna do as a detailer whatever it takes to, to achieve the desired results. So this is where, if you have enough experience and you're watching this video, you'll realize, oh yeah, I've been in that moment many, many times. Because in the shade, it would be so much more straightforward, but we don't have the luxury of being in the shade. So here, this is where I just simply decide, okay, experience tells me this is where I need to go into finessing mode. So this is one of the ways I finesse, is that while the product is still water soluble, I'm going to finesse and create a nice uniform appearance. And this actually created a pretty healthy shine. So what I can do is I can allow this to set up as I detail the rest of the vehicle. And by me, I really mean Sean because he's the one detailing this car. Yeah. I can come back in with a wet microfiber cloth, wring it out very tightly so it's just damp, not dripping wet. 
and I can finesse this in a different way if I want to, to decrease the shine. If I look at it and say, oh, too shiny, I want to decrease the shine. So there's a lot of flexibility with this. And with that said, in like, um, let's say 150,000 words or less, nah. hopefully you've learned something. Nah. Let me pull you in and I'm gonna show you. And once again, it's so difficult to know what lighting is going to capture what. I think it's pretty obvious that we have some healthy shine going on over here, less healthy shine to no shine at all going over here. But just simply cleaning it with simple green and improved it dramatically. So you actually could even just cut it that short if you wanted to. This is where how you're pricing the job out, your time constraints, those types of things that have to do with what I call the nuances of running a business. And there Sean is, he's uh, taking pictures for us. In closing, because I wanted to highlight this product, uh, and one of the reasons I wanted to highlight this product is because it's so overwhelming, I often don't know where to start. So I just saw this moment, Sean's working down the street on my uh, general contractor's car. It's like, hey, Sean, this would make a good video moment. Let's seize the moment. So the cool thing about this product line is that it's so simplistic, but there's so many uses for each product. So I can not only use this on tires, I can use it as a trim dressing that's actually gonna last. It's not gonna be as permanent as solution finish, but it's gonna be way more permanent than those other inferior products. There's, it dries to the touch. So if Johnny customer, let's say you treat a part of the car that they rub up against their pants, like especially the wifey, and she rubs up against it in her new white dress, you're gonna have a big problem on your hands. So this will dry to the touch, it's not gonna get sling on it. So I wanna introduce the nuances of it more and more moving forward. Um, and we'll just close there. By all means, subscribe if you like what you're seeing. If you wanna get alerts every time we upload a new video, hit the uh, little bell icon. You can find Sean at Blue Tech Mobile Detailing. Thank him for allowing me to enter, um, what's the word, insert myself into his moment. Mm -hmm and hopefully teach you guys a little something along the way. Boys and girls, we'll see you on the next video.